Hello, Reese. Hello, McKinsey. Hello, Mason. Hello, Maggie. Today with Art with Grandpa, I'm going to show you how I'm making a card for Reese and Mason's mom, your Aunt Bree. We might know that she's not feeling all that well, and I just thought I would take the time to make her a card to let her know that I'm thinking about her. So the first thing that I did here was as I thought about what I wanted to say to her. And I wrote it down on this piece of paper. I wrote it down on this piece of paper as a practice for what I would write on my card. And here I'm writing, I am thinking of you, knowing you will feel better soon. Love you, Brianne, from Grandpa. Now I picked my words kind of specially because... I wanted Brianne to know that I could have wrote, we are thinking of you, because we know the whole family is thinking about her, but I wanted her just to kind of know that me personally am, am doing something, and that's thinking, which means she's in my mind of you. She is in my mind. She is in Grandpa's mind, and that I could write the word, hoping you will feel better, and hoping is like, let's say there was uh, something like two different outcomes that could be possible. Like one plus one equals two, or one plus one equals three. Well, you could look at that and say, I hope one plus one equals two, or I hope one plus one equals three. But no, 1 plus 1 equals 2. You know 1 plus 1 equals 2. And I know of all the hopes or choices that there were that's possible, I want to know because I want to be positive in letting you know the feelings I have for her don't allow anything else but for her to feel better soon. And then, of course, we love you, Brianne. And then I'm sending this to her so she might have a good idea that it's from me and she has a good idea it's to her because I wrote her name on it. But I let her know that it is from Grandpa by writing from Grandpa. Well, after I had practiced what I was going to write and checked my spelling and got my kind of an idea of what I'm going to write, I took a pencil and I made these little lines down through here to try to make my wording straight. And then I wrote out all my words in pencil and then I went back over them with um, my markers. And in this case, I'm going to finish off tracing. That means going over something again. So you can see it's in pencil and I'm going to go over it again with the color green. So I'm going to go over that again and Grandpa. So now, of course, she knows that this is from me. And when I got done putting the letters on, I started thinking about how I could decorate it. Well, one of the ways you can decorate things is to put little cutout things on there. Well, here I cut out a flower. But I'm going to show you Look, it's only half a flower because what I did was is I cut out half the flower, unfolded it, and now I've got a whole flower and I took a little bit of glue and I glued it to the picture. I'm going to show you. Now some of you might have a little different scissors and some of you really probably should have mom or dad cut them out or really you don't even have to use a cutout. You can just um, draw them on there because look what I did. I drew a half of something and it turns into a whole heart. So I drew half of it and turned the whole heart. Well I colored this one with red because that's how I wanted the color to be but I still got this side to do so I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to real quickly grab my red and color it all in and it looks like I got a different color red, but that's okay. There's going to be a thing that you'll learn that sometimes it isn't how perfect something is, 
but the thought that counts. So I'm going to take and I'm going to I'm going to glue uh, that onto there, and it'll stick on there now, and or will soon. I'll put some on there, and then I'll stick it on there. Okay, and I'll do the same thing with the flower, and you can do that at home. But don't use any glue without your parents knowing, and you don't even have to. Like I said, you could just draw them on there. Then Grandpa did something else a little bit uh, wild. And this is something, too, that you might not be able to do at your house right now because, hey, you know, because of the germ outside, we can't go out and get things, but it's okay. We'll use what we got. And Grandpa happened to have some red, um, uh, what is this called? Sprinkles. So I had some of this red sprinkles. So what I did was is I took the glue, okay, and uh, let's make a little, let's make a little, line here with the glue and another little line here with the glue this stuff's going to probably fall off and then I take it and I sprinkled my glitter there we go glitter on there and then I take a piece of paper another one I kind of just press down on it just to kind of get it in there then I kind of look I kind of twisted it off there you know look look see the glitter there stayed uh, I can mess around and I can take all this off then the other thing that I kind of had going for me was is that, well, I had some stickers. And they're not just the stickers I made or wanted. I'd like to have hearts and things like that for her. But, hey, they're kind of fun. So, and he's got some stickers. I'm going to put some stickers on here for her just to know that I'm, I'm working on things and let her know on this card. So, if you don't have stickers, it's okay. You can draw. You can draw different things. So, Grandpa's just going to put some stickers on there. Oh, sorry about that. You can't see. I got that. Got those stickers on there. So I've got my my uh, my card done, and then I'm going to take a picture of it, and I'm going to send. Oh, let's get our flower over here, and we're going to take a picture of that, and then I'm going to uh, send it to Aunt Bree because I, Grandpa, am. I'm doing something. I am thinking. She's in my mind of you, you Aunt Bree, you Bree. And I, knowing, not just hoping, but I really, I want to be positive, knowing you will feel better soon. And I put this little mark here called an exclamation point that just says, I'm excited about it. And then, I love you, and I'm excited about it. Brianne, so she knows who this is for, and then who's it from? From Grandpa. Well... I just want you all to know that uh, inside our hearts, we're thinking of all of you. We can't wait to see you soon. We love you. And me and Nanny will, well, talk to you later. Bye.